Yo, what's good YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, let's go ahead and talk about one of the craziest exotics created for the Hunter, the Falcon's Halberd. People are having a blast using this exotic inside of PvE because it's really good. But personally, I'm pretty surprised how people are so fixated on the Titan Shield meta that they're neglecting how good this exotic is inside of PvP. In case you didn't know, there was a recent change that Bungie implemented that made this exotic incredibly strong and also incredibly fun to use. There is some wild synergy going on with this exotic paired with the right build and I'm going to share everything about it with you in this video. Just make sure you're using the right void fragments, using the right weapons and then you can essentially achieve the power of permanent invis, have the easiest access to wall hex and have infinite overshields. Are you ready? This is Grafalkin's Hallberg, perfected inside of PvP. For starters, let's talk about the gameplay loop. It's pretty simple. You want to start by dodging to activate your invisibility. The moment that you break out of the invis, your void weapons are going to be granted the volatile rounds. Next, after you secure a kill on a volatile target, you will be able to proc the aspect Stylus Executioner, which gives you True Sight, aka Wall Hacks, and this makes you invisible again. To perfect this loop, I added not only a meta weapon, I added a meta weapon with a perk that pushes this build to be terrifying. Vel's X is a ritual weapon introduced this season and it comes with a perk known as Repulsor Brace. Basically, after defeating a void debuff target, you are granted an overshield that I assume to be about 45 HP. So think about it, every time you manage to defeat a target, not only are you getting the invisibility loop, you are also getting a constant overshield. Keep in mind, this also works with Exalted Truth, which has Repulsor Brace perk or any other weapon that has that perk. For this video, I opted to just use the Pulse Rifle and I kind of messed around with Funnel Web a bit as well. You can pretty much pair this build with any of your favorite Void weapons for PvP. Anyways, I considered ending the video there, but I took notice of the fact that a lot of people do not understand Volatile Rounds and how it can provide you one of the best advantages when it comes to PvP gunfights. In my experience, I have found these to be the most useful in the way of preventing someone from constantly healing and constantly disengaging. For example, if a volatile enemy ducks into cover, dodges with warm husk, pops a rift, or otherwise extends your TTK in any other way at all, the explosion will happen, causing them to lose a chunk of their health, thus allowing you to more easily defeat that target. I believe the damage is about 200 before the volatile explosion happens. To wrap it up, this exotic is very, very strong. Strong enough that I would call it meta in PvP. And what blows me away is that we're only seeing a 2-3% usage at least in trials statistically. While everyone is focused on talking about the current meta, I want to remind you that literally last season Invis Hunter was dominating the PvP game. It's still a strong option and I'll probably cry about it if you use it against me. If you want to send your apologies early, do it by dropping a like on the video and comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Anyways, enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Alright. Let's play some Midtown. Maybe like four players on the C zone. Then they'll go to B zone in a second. Oh, I wanted to catch one of them off guard there. One had a charge up grenade. So let's go ahead and regenerate our health first. Throw a grenade. I don't think it's going to do much, but I think it's time for us to decide to rotate. Because unfortunately, the whole team has swarmed the B. We have a 1v1 here. A little bit of damage. Clean up another player. I'm getting shot in the back. That's bad. And just like that, we have a spawn flip. Tell you what, let's go ahead and focus on this power ammo first. I have kill clip once more. Really weak. Getting shot in the air. That's bad. I just mapped him. Or maybe he got shot by my teammate. <laughs> nice kills. I don't have any special ammo. We won't need it if we can get to the lane and hold them back. I'm actually going to rotate a little bit backwards here. I got the trade. That's good. That's good. It's too bad I got shot in the back. 
I had to make sure though that flank was clear. I would love to move closer, but the problem is I think some still have a little bit of power ammo left. Okay, sweet. Let's throw a grenade there. Perfect. We actually push them out. We got the kill. Beautiful teamwork. I do have to back off, sadly. And now we can actually take the power ammo. It sounds like somebody popped a bubble on the zone. Oh, they're going to have control over that for a little bit. Let's take this hammerhead with void rounds and see if we can get a couple cleanups somewhere. That's nice. Let's take a look at the A zone spawn. A little bit too far for the machine gun. Nice teams. There's one more player back there. You got that. Perfect. Now let's take this machine gun. Proc volatile rounds. Hopefully, you know, get ourselves one or two more kills. Nice kill. I wasn't able to help you too well. That's a huge double bomb. Thankfully, they didn't kill all of us. Lots of team shots going down. We're doing a great job so far. All right, we took this zone, but unfortunately, they just took A from us. We haven't been moving quick enough to really make any crazy plays. What I can do is try to protect C. Got the two bursts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep that up. Keep that up. And I can actually play more aggressive here with the pole shuffle now. Beautiful teammates. Keep it up. We're taking the zone. And I'll go back for the power armor here in a second. We could potentially use this to clear out some more areas of the map where we need to capture. I don't see anything long range. Oh, that's a really bad grenade for me. Managed to yield one kill. Let them make a mistake and just peek us a little bit too early. Oh my god, what? That was insane. Okay, I, I'm already losing that gunfight. If he goes up, we can probably kill him. Nice. No, teammate! Okay. Nice, good job, keep it up. Let me get my health back and then we're going to challenge the long route. I did not see the invis player. <laughs> Whatever, as long as we hold C, we should be okay. Nice. Now this thing's a little beast, dude. Solid win, good map control. All right, squad, let's play some Iron Banner on, what is this map called? Vosok, yes. We love Vostok. Oh, uh, we have one player at the minute to take B. Now we have wall hacks. I could probably get a clean up across the mid lane. Let's play a little bit more aggressive towards C. The problem is we potentially might run into a team shot. And there's also the worry of the grenade, of course, just like you saw right there. Nice kill. Nice kill. We should be able to catch somebody across the spawn, potentially. We got the kill. Man, almost destroyed me with Dead Man's Tail. Now, let's be mindful of the potential spawn flips. Someone actually spawned behind us. That's wild. I'm trying to wait, see if one of them makes a mistake. Nice, I got the grenade kill. Now I have wall hacks. Got a little bit of an overshield, confidence in pushing. So let's see if I can get a flank on the C zone. I only got a trade. That's fine. I got pretty greedy. When I got that flank, I saw one free kill and I was like, you know what? I might die, but I want that free kill. I think I can get a tether there before they capture it.
I can probably get a shotgun play here. Invis, unfortunately, I can't see this guy. No, I got shot in the back. I wish I spent a second looking at the radar before I tried to kill the guy that was frozen. It's going to be too late to make any plays with the zone. Oh, he just got killed by a f <laughs> Oh my god, bro. No way he just let that happen. Oh, we had some crazy damage going on with the pulse rifle. Let's get behind these players. Nice, I got away. Nice, we got the kill. I'll go in to see if I can get an angle. Nice, got the two bursts on that. I got wall hacks now. I can't do anything else. Kind of too weak. All right, sweet. Got some pretty good team shots. We were able to clean that area up. Okay, that guy's probably going to back off. I want to make sure I clean up some of these other potential free kills. Got wall hacks now. Someone's going to jump up. Almost got that kill. Not sure where to look. Nice kills. I just threw a random nade. I am getting some tags. I don't know what that is. Got to assist for it. Nice team shots. Oh no, my shotgun took so long to swap. That's all good though. We got the trade. And I think with the zones we actually have in control of, we should be able to win this game. Let's go. You see that? It's possible to have a somewhat enjoyable experience on Vostok, right? <laughs>